Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I wanted to compare two outdoor Antop antennas that are almost the same. So, on my right, I have the Antop AT415B, and on my left, I have the Antop AT414B. The difference between the two is that the 415B has a unicorn, as you see, whereas the 414B is a flathead. And the specifications of both antennas are like exactly the same. So they have a range of 55 to 65 miles. They have a smart pass amplifier. So either they can be amplified or they can just pass through the signal. So if you have like stations broadcasting that are near, so they don't get scrambled. And also they have 5G filter and of course 4G, 3G and LTE filters. So I'm going to be installing these antennas outside on my balcony and then I'm gonna be performing a channel search and I'm gonna see what antenna will capture more channels if there are any differences between the two antennas. So first I'm gonna start by unboxing them and assembling them and I'm gonna show you how to assemble them. So this here is the 415B. Let me open it. So you have a very long antenna cable. So this here is the adapter. This is the amplifier and the cable. And you have some leaflets and some usual manuals and stuff like that. This is the unicorn. And this is the base and these are the hooks to install the base. So this is the antenna. This is where the unicorn goes. So you need to remove these two screws in order to install it. And why I install it? I wanted to tell you that both antennas are omnidirectional antennas, which is very good. Just push it in, it goes in like this. And let's put back the screws. Do not over tighten the screws, never over tighten screws, especially when there is plastic involved, because otherwise you might break the plastic. So this is enough. So this is the base that needs to go in the antenna here. And you notice here that the antenna has teeth. Let me bring it close so that you see them. And the base has teeth. So you need to align the teeth on the teeth here. So remove this bolt first. And then make sure that this goes here like this. So push it in. Put it like this. So put the washer. And then put back the bolt. And this is where the RF cable goes. And you need to screw the cable here. Make sure to align the pin with the hole here. And then screw it in tightly. And then protect it with the plastic envelope. It's very important to protect it. So now I have to connect the other end to the amplifier here. So this is the adapter also for the amplifier. So it goes like this. This here is a 414B. It is exactly the same as a 415B, except that it doesn't have a unicorn. So I'm going to unbox it and assemble it the same as the 415B. So now I'm going to install both antennas outside one after the other because I want to install them exactly at the same place. So this way I can test them and the test will be more reliable. I'm going to start with the AT415B and I'm going to tell you when I do the test what antenna I am testing. So this here is the 415B UFO unicorn antenna installed outside. I'm gonna test it now. So now I'm starting the channel reception test of the 415B. So let's see how many channels it captured. It captured 29 channels. Let's see if the channel reception is good. So the kids channel is received and I have CTTV now and it's cutting. So it's not the fault of the antenna. Today the weather is not too good. So let's see other channels here. So this is a local channel that is captured very good. And this is CTV also. So this is a local French channel, CBC. And I have NBC too. And let's see CBS. And this is CBS also. It has two bars. So let's perform now the same test with the 414B. So this here now is a 414B installed in the exact same location as the 415B. So let's go and perform the channel reception test. So now I'll be performing the channel test on the 414B. So the 414B received 28 channels, which is one channel less than the 415B. So let's see the channels it received and what channel did it miss. 
So this is CBC in French, and this is CBS, which is really well received, and this is NBC. It is also very well captured. Let's see the other channels. So this is CBC, local French channel, CTV also. The missing channel is CTTV, but this is not indicative of the performance of the antenna because CTTV was cutting with the 415B. So when the 414B was searching for channel, maybe it was cutting at this time. So the conclusion is that even with a magical unicorn, the 415B doesn't have an advantage over the 414B. Their performance was exactly the same and they had a very good performance. So they were capturing channels without cutting, except for CTTV that was cutting all the time with the 415B and the 414B missed it because when it did the channel search, it was cutting at this exact same time. By the way, if you want to check out both these antennas, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will help my channel greatly. I'm going to be also putting in the description a limited time discount code from Antop. So make sure to use this discount code in case you decide to purchase any of these antennas. I hope that you liked my video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly and this way you will not miss my future videos. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.